What's up, everybody? I'm Taylor Soper with GeekWire. We're here with Lisa Brummel, former longtime Microsoft executive and also a co-owner of the Seattle Storm. We're here at Key Arena at the WNBA All-Star Game. Finally, it's in Seattle. What's it been like having the game here in Seattle? It's pretty cool. It's been so special to have the game here in Seattle. Our fans have asked about this for a number of years, and we just haven't quite gotten the right combination of things. But this year was really special, and we were able to do it. I'm happy for the fans. I'm happy for our organization, people in Seattle, and for Sue Bird. It's awesome seeing Sue here. She's been a longtime Seattle Storm player, and it's cool to see her in the spotlight here at the All-Star Game. Yeah, it's great, and she's just such a special person. You can tell how much the players in the league respect her, not just the fans here. Everybody loves her. And we just had Sue at our GeekWire Sports Tech Summit talking about the intersection of sports and tech. She has mentioned, and she's written about this before, the disparity between how much technology is in the men's game versus the women's game. The NBA players have analytics, sports science at the highest level, maybe not so much at the WNBA level. How is that going to change, and what, what, can, what are some things that, you know, that can happen that you know, even that up and add more technology and cool sports science to the women's game as well? Yeah, I think we're going to need to really up our technology. I'm not sure we have to do exactly the same as the men, but I think to progress going forward, for the players to really understand their best capabilities, technology is going to have to play a part. I think we can take a lead from the NBA or some of the other men's sports, but I think there might be some unique things we can do on our own as well. And speaking of technology, uh, Lisa Borders, the commissioner, was just talking about Twitter and FanDuel and these different platforms helping grow the game's reach and popularity. Do you agree with some of the stuff she's saying? Do you think that the league should be really paying more attention to technology? I do. I really think technology is the future of the league. I think we've looked back and kind of played basketball and analyzed basketball the old way. And I really want to challenge us, both here in Seattle and as a league, to use new technology. I want us to be a modern WNBA. I don't want us to be an old school NBA or an old school WNBA. And technology is really the key to that. And you were at Microsoft for many years, over two decades. Do you see any similarities between running teams at Microsoft and being a leader there? And also with the Storm being a co-owner, helping run the team. Are there any similarities there that you've taken, and maybe leadership lessons uh, that you've taken away that kind of apply to both things? Well, it's really all about people, no matter where you go. It's a little different outcomes when you're talking with engineers and developers and program managers when you are basketball players. And that's an ongoing year-round thing. This is an 18-game thing. But it's still all about people. What motivates them? How do you get the best out of them? How do they get the best out of you? How do you listen to feedback from the people that you work with? And how do you make yourself better all the time? Speaking of people, how about yourself? You've left Microsoft. What are you up to now? And I know you're still involved with the storm. What else? Are you sticking around Seattle? Any other companies that you're involved with? Uh, yeah, I'm retired, which only means that I get to manage my own hours. Somebody else doesn't get to manage my hours. I do a little bit of consulting. I spend time with the storm. I spend time with my family. And uh, I just kind of do things that come up. I'm very interested in new technology and startups and new businesses. And people reach out periodically for mentorship or whatever. And I'm happy to contribute where I can. Speaking of startups, Seattle is a big startup city, and including big companies and small companies. Any thoughts on the industry here? You've been here a while, seen the tech ecosystem grow. Where, where is it right now? How do you see it? Like, in, how, Where do you see it going in the future? Yeah, I think the tech ecosystem here is pretty amazing. I think between Amazon and Microsoft and all the other companies that are around here, um, there's a real one step ahead and then somebody else takes a step ahead and there's a startup that takes a step ahead. And I love the number of ideas that I see coming out of here. And finally, with Microsoft, I know you're not involved with the company as much anymore, but any comments on kind of the resurgence? We saw the stock price at an all-time high this week, and, you know, it's, they're, they're, they seem to be doing really well under uh, Satya Nadella's leadership. Yeah, Satya's a special guy. He was, uh, he's been a great leader in his time there. I'm really proud of the company. I'm happy for my friends who are still there. I still have great connections with the place, and I'm just really proud to have worked there for 25 years. Lisa Brummel, thanks for taking the time to speak to GeekWire, and we'll see the second half here coming up. Thanks. Go Storm. Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it. Cool.